Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to back up your Nintendo Switch's NAND in case something goes wrong. So I will be using the SXOS in this video um, just to load the payload. So here is the RCM jig and the dongle. But the first thing you want to do is just get your Nintendo Switch, go to the SD card port and you just want to take out the SD card. So go ahead and connect your SD card to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I'll leave a link to the Hecate um, bin file in the description. And basically this is the payload which you will need to launch up. So all you want to do is just download the latest version. It's 2.3. So once that has finished downloading, just go to your downloads folder. Now you must have your Nintendo Switch SD card connected. And for this to uh, be like the best outcome, it must be on XFAT. And that is because when you dump the NAND, if you have an XFAT file system, then the NAND will all be in one file. And if you're on FAT32, then it will split up into multiple files. So we just want it as one big file because that's a lot easier. So just make sure your, um, your SD card is formatted to XFAT. Keep in mind that if you do format it, it will remove everything. And to format, all you do, right click and then select format. As you can see, I've already got my Nintendo Switch files on here, so I don't want to format it again. Also guys, keep in mind that the NAND backup is roughly 29.1 gigabytes in size. And as you can see, if I go to properties, that is how much space I have free, 29.3 gigabytes. So the NAND is going to fill up a lot of space on my SD card. Um, so I would definitely recommend using a card above 32 gigabyte, but that's all I had to use for this video. So I just had to make sure that I didn't have anything else on the SD card. So now go into your downloads folder, find the payload and just copy it to the root of your Nintendo Switch SD card. So once that's copied across, we can now disconnect the SD card from the PC and I'll show you guys how to back up the NAND. Alright guys, so back on the Nintendo Switch, we want to put in the SD card. So just do that right now. Now guys, once the SD card is back in, I'm going to be using SXOS to load my payload. So you guys can do this as well. It's up to you. If you already know what you're doing with loading payloads, then that's fine. So I'm just gonna put in the RCM jig because I do not have auto RCM installed right now. And then also put in the SXOS dongle. Now when powering it on, make sure you just hold volume up and power button. We'll then power into SXOS. Right guys, so on this screen right here, what you want to do is just go into options, go into load external payload or launch external payload. And now you will find it on here. So all you want to do is tap it and then it's going to launch into it. So once you're in this, take out your dongle. You can also remove the jig and you also want to remove your other Joy-Con just because it will be a lot easier. Right guys, inside of this menu, it's a bit weird, but you actually use the volume key down and up to scroll. So obviously up on the volume key is go up and then down on the volume key is go down. And then the power button is enter. So what you wanna do is hover over tools, press the power button. And now we're looking at these two files. So this is a full um, NAND backup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just scroll down to dump raw EMMC and then press the power button. Now what this is gonna do is start dumping the NAND to our SD card. Now this might take a very long time. So what we're gonna do is just wait for this to complete and I'll be back with you guys when it's done. Right guys, so it's nearly done loading now. Now that took a very long time. Um, it probably took like an hour actually. As you can see, finished and verified. Press any key to continue. So I'm just gonna press the volume up. So now we're back on the tools menu again. So we need to now dump the um, EMMC boot. So just scroll down by pressing the volume down and then press the power button on it. Now this is gonna go very fast and it's gonna dump these two files. So we've got boot zero and boot one. It's gonna say done, press any key to continue. We're gonna press the up key. Now what we want to do is go back to up or to back and then press the power button on back. So now we're back at the main menu. All you wanna do is scroll down and go to power off and then press the power button. 
This is now just going to power off your Nintendo Switch completely. All right guys, so now we just want to take out the SD card and then connect it to your PC. All right guys, so back on the PC, as you can see, the SD card is completely full. It's literally got 200 megabytes left. And these are the three files that we want to keep. So we want to keep this one right here, this one and this one. These are all of the free NAND files. So what I'd recommend doing is just dragging and dropping this somewhere on your PC so you have it forever. So if you ever do brick your Nintendo Switch, you will hopefully be able to recover it with your NAND backup. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.